Hi, this is Seema and I am back with a new lesson on answering a very simple question which is what do you do? So when someone asks you this question, uh, they are trying to get information about your job or about your work. Okay, so they want, they're very interested in knowing what is the job that you are involved in? What is the work that you are doing when you go to your office or whichever place you go to work at? Or what is your profession, okay? Now, because the question is simple, well, the answer also is equally simple, okay? So when you answer this question, you can answer it in various ways, depending on the context of your sentence, okay? <music> someone asks you uh, what do you do you can answer that by saying by starting your sentence with a I work at or I work in or I work for or you can say I work with but there are different sentences and you can use each of these syllables in a sentence depending on your right sentence structure okay so let's get you the right set of sentence structures when you are going to answer this question okay now when you use I work at or I work for you are going to use it when you are telling someone the name of the company you are working for okay so you will say I work for whatever is the name of the company And the same goes uh, for I work for. So again, you will talk about the name of the company. So you can say, I work at Let's Talk Private Limited, or you can say, I work for Citibank. Okay, so work at and work for will always be used when you're talking about the name of the company. All right, now work in when do you use work in or work on um, it can be used in several ways okay I'll show you a few ways uh, work in can be used to talk about the place you are working for the exact place you are working for okay now there are several places we can work in right so on the place okay you may have, you can say, I work in an office or I work in a school or I work in a factory or I work in a boutique or I work in a store could be any store a retail store or a pharmacy store or I work on a farm if you're a farmer or I work on a construction site it could be really anything okay so when you talk in when you are using your sentence starting with I work in it will refer to a place which can be an office uh, an office can also be a cubicle like it's a little you know room that you get for yourself to work and you know do your daily work activities yeah or a school or a factory or a boutique or a store or a farm or a construction site or anywhere any place that you work in okay it could be anywhere okay now this is the first usage of the I work in but I work in can also be used when you are talking about a city or a country so you can say I work in Paris or you can say I work in America or I work in the UK so I work in is used for a place which could include all of these or maybe more depending on the place you are working in or you could say I work in a city or a country depending on what city or country it is you can also use I work in when you are talking about a specific department of the company
so. Maybe you can say, I work in the HR department or I work in the department of finance. Or you can say, I work in the marketing department. Okay, so you use working for a place, a city or a country or a specific department in that company. Okay, and the other usage of the I work in can be used when you're talking about a specific area of expertise. Maybe your profession as a consultant requires you to consult people. So therefore, your area of expertise is consulting. So you can say, I work in consulting or I work in finance or I work in law. Law is your expertise, okay? Now, work for can also be used for another way of talking. So you can use work for when you are talking about working for a or working directly for an important person. So you can say something like I work for Tom Cruise or I work for Steven Spielberg. So whenever you are working directly for someone, you will use the word I work for. Now moving on to using work with. When do you use work with? Well, work with is used in two different ways. The first way is when you are talking about objects of work or the things that you work with. Okay, so if you are working in an office or a cubicle, you work with computers. If you are working in a boutique, you are working with clothes or apparel. Okay, so it depends on the things you are working with, the objects of what you work with. Now, work with can also be used when you are talking about specific kind of people you work with. So if, for example, if you are a teacher who works in a school, you work in a school, but you are teaching special students, okay? So what kind of people do you work with? You will say you work with students with special needs or children with special needs. So, that, so maybe you've got to work with children who are autistic, you've got to work with, peop with children who have OCD or children who are mildly schizophrenic, okay? So you are working in a school, but you are working with children who have special needs. If you are, say, working on a construction site, okay, you are working on a construction site, but you are working with what kind of people on a construction site would you work with? You would work with engineers or perhaps architects, right? Okay, so that is how you use, how you answer what do you do in four main different ways. I will show you some more ways of how to answer what do you do depending on any alternative profession that you may have. Now for those of you who don't have a job, how would you answer this question? So a lot of people do ask you, what do you do? And well, you're not working, you don't have a job. So what do you say? You could say, I am unemployed. Or you can say, I am between jobs. So these are the two different ways of answering this question if you don't have a job because you're not working right now. So you can't use the 
I work with or, or an I work for, it's not going to work that way, right? So you can use either of these two statements. Now there are some of you, the smart ones, who, you know, work for yourself. So you are doing something, you're an entrepreneur, right? So if you work for yourself, how do you answer that? You can say, I am self-employed. The word is self-employed, okay? Or you can say, I own a small business which is called whatever the name of the business is, okay? So these are the different ways on how you will talk about uh, you know, your work depending on what you do and what you don't do if you don't have a job that is, okay? Well, that's it from me on this lesson on answering the simple question, what do you do? Now that you know how to answer this question, I'm sure you will answer it correctly and in the right context. Well, I'll be back with some more lessons. Until then, this is me